Welcome to Kohino Tech and welcome to chapter 2. This one is called Accessing System and Accessing Command Line. Here I will discuss about sales, sale prompt, login prompt and how to login over the network. Tell basics, what is commands, what is options and arguments and how options are changed the behavior of a command. How to use commands, options and argument and show you some commands also. The purpose of this second chapter is to let us slide in smoothly and easily into the whole course. This is designed to give you a brush up. Let's start. Accessing the command line. Goal. Log into a Linux system and run simple commands using the cell. This is the main goal of accessing the command line. Objectives are log into a Linux system on a, a local text console and run simple commands using the cell. And second objective is Log into a Linux system using the Genome 3 desktop environment and run commands from a cell prompt in a terminal program. I will uh, discuss little bit about Genome 3 uh, when I will uh, uh, show you the graphical user interface. Okay. And next objective is save time by using tab completion and command history and command editing shortcuts to run command in the best cell lab we will do a lot of lab here on accessing the command line this is the intro part now go to introduction to linux interface login into a computer you have two options to login into a computer one is graphical user interface and another is command line interface first i will introduce you with graphical user interface to login into a local computer you have to have a keyboard mouse and display monitor for input and output directly connected to machine now i am going to login into my local computer and this is my physical console this is called login prompt where you should put your username and password here i have two users like devops and total i would like to login using devops user now i am giving the password of devops user and i have logged into my physical console this console is also called pts the physical console supports multiple virtual console which can run separate terminals each virtual console supports an independent login session you can switch between them by pressing alt control and a function key f1 through f6 in red hat enterprise linux 8 if the graphical environment is available the login screen will run on the first virtual console called tty1 five additional text login prompts are available on virtual console 2 through 6 if you login using the graphical login screen your graphical environment will start on the first virtual console that is not currently being used by a login session normally your graphical session will replace the login prompt on the second virtual console tty2 however if that console is in use by an active text login session not just a login prompt the next free virtual console is used instead now i am logging to my virtual console using all control f3 to see the virtual console which you are logged in, type ps. See, I have logged in to my virtual console with tty3. Now I am going back to my physical console 
by pressing Alt Control F1 and giving the password of my DevOps user to log into my physical console again. And my physical console is taken the name PTS. Now I will introduce you with Genome Desktop Environment. The desktop environment is the graphical user interface on a Linux system. The default desktop environment in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 is provided by Genome 3. The graphical user interface application suite is called Genome version 3. GNU Network Object Model Environment version 3. It is free and open source desktop environment and graphical user interface. This graphical framework provided by Wayland and this is also called Genome Cell and it is highly customizable. Now I will introduce you with each and every parts of the Genome Cell. This is called Top Bar. Under Top Bar you can see the Activities button, Volume Control, Networking icon, calendar access and also you will get users logout button switch users button account setting button and network connection type in activities there are three main areas that is dash windows overview and workspace under dash you can see user favorite applications application which are currently running grid button for more application and this dash is also called dock this area is called windows overview display thumbnails of all windows active in the current workspace see i am opening two to three application in the windows overview area and you can easily move your applications uh, to workspace sector. If you want to switch between workspace sequentially, then you can press the up arrow button or down arrow button. To go up, press the up arrow button and if you want to go down, then press the down arrow button. And also you can use the shortcut key, the all control up arrow and all control down arrow to go down. If you want to hide your open application, then use the super key that is called windows key, super key and edge button combination. And get back the hide terminal, press alt and tab combination. And if you want to close your window, then press Alt and F4 combination. You can also run your application using Run menu. For that, you press Alt and F2 combination. My application name like Genome Terminal. because I want to open a terminal and if you want to lock your screen then use super key plus L combination to raise the lock screen use enter or space button if you want to log out your current user then select the system menu in the upper right corner on the top bar and select user then log out it will come back to your previous state. Logging over the network. In Linux, the most common way to get a cell prompt on a remote system is to use secure cell SSH. An alternative way to authenticate to a remote machine without entering password is through public key authentication. With this authentication method, users have a special identity file containing a private key, which is equivalent to a password, which they keep secret. Their account is configured in server with a matching public key, 
which does not have to be called a secret. When logging, users can configure SSH to provide the private key and if their matching public key is installed in that account on that remote server, it will log them in without asking for a password. There have a chapter called SSH configuration chapter 10. I will discuss about SSH configuration in details in that chapter. Now I will show you a short demonstration of logging into a remote system over network through SSH. See there are three instances. One is control node, second is managed host one and third is managed host two. And I am taking uh, managed host one server and managed host two server uh, for this demonstration. Okay. As of now, you assume that my managed host one server is present in uh, Mumbai and my managed host two, two server uh, is present in Kolkata. And I want to log into my managed host one server from managed host two server uh, via uh, SSH over network. Okay. Let's see. Let me start my uh, managed host one server and managed host two server. Okay, one by one. And now I have to start managed host two server also. This is the managers to server uh, which is present in Kolkata. Now I have to log in to my managers to server. Now I have to open a terminal. Then I will uh, check the connectivity uh, of my uh, Mumbai server. My uh, Mumbai server's IP address is 192.168.0.106. Okay, the command is ping 192.168.0.106. This is the IP address of my Mumbai server. See, that is pinging. It means the connectivity is okay. Now. Uh, I want to uh, log into my Mumbai server uh, over network through SSH. The command is SSH, then uh, user name of remote server, then at the rate IP or fully qualified domain name of remote server okay my uh, Mumbai server username is DevOps and the IP address is 192.168.0.106 now I am typing the command SSH DevOps at the rate IP address 192.168.0.106 you can also give the fully qualified domain name here enter it will ask for password now i am giving the uh, remote server uh, devops user password uh, no i am giving some wrong password let me try yes i have login to my uh, mumbai server Okay, that is manage host one. For confirmation, check the IP address. The command is IP ADDR show. See the IP address of my remote server, which is present in Mumbai. Let me log out uh, from that server. In this way, you can uh, uh, log in to remote server uh, via SSH over the network. Now I will discuss about the cell prompt.
a command line interface which can be used to input instructions to a computer system. The Linux command line is provided by a program called the cell. I am going to show you what is cell and what is cell prompt. To get cell and cell prompt click on activities then click on terminal. This is called the cell. The cursor is prompting. This is called cell prompt. This is basically regular user cell prompt because the symbol is dollar symbol and dollar symbol is for regular user and hash symbol is for uh, super user symbol or root user symbol. I am showing you su this hash symbol is the super user or root user login prompt. Okay. And regular user, my regular user name is DevOps. His login prompt is dollar. Okay. And uh, Tilt is the uh, home directory of the respective user. Like root users home directory is slash root. To see the home directory of root user type pwd present working directory. This is the slash root. Slash root is the root user home directory and the regular user home directory is slash home slash the uh, uh, username like uh, i am exiting from the super user and this is devops is my regular user if i type here pwd see the regular user home directory is slash home slash devops okay now i will discuss about cell basics cell has three basic parts that is command command are the name of programs that are installed on the system you can use one command in a single line or you can use uh, more than one command in a single line if you want to use more than a single command in a single line then use semicolon as the comma separator then options options are basically uh, adjust the behavior of a command and next is arguments Arguments is basically the target on which the command will run. Options, options are two types. Single letter option, words type option. Single letter option is always start with one dash. Like minus A, minus L, minus R, minus T, minus P. Or you can club together all this stuff. Like minus L, R, T. Okay. And what format is always start with two dashes like dash dash all, dash dash force, dash dash create, dash dash device, dash dash name, dash dash zone, that type of. Okay, now I will give you a small demo as because you can better understand about uh, command, option, and arguments. Okay, now I am opening a cell. I want to listing out all the directories and file under my home directory. Okay, my home directory name is slash home slash devops. To see my home directory, type pwd present working directory. See my home directory name is slash home slash devops. And I want to listing out all the files and uh, directories under my home directory. Okay, the command is ls ls is the command name ls for listing and now i will use option for that you have to give us space and then minus and give the option i am using here a l a means all and l means long listing okay then give a space and give the arguments arguments means on which the command will work the, my argument is target okay 
here my argument name is slash home slash devops see all these files and folder under home directory okay and the line start with d is called directory and the line start with minus is called regular file okay and the file or uh, directory start with dot is called hidden directory okay and the single dot is the present directory and double dot is the parent directory name and in this way command option and argument works now i will show you um, what format uh, option this is the uh, single letter option okay like minus a minus l or minus l together is called single letter uh, option now i will show you uh, a word format option like ls is the command and i am using minus minus all all is word format then my target name slash home slash devops enter see these are all the output of my command okay and dash dash all is the word format options i hope it will help you uh, to understand commands options and target or arguments now i will discuss about some early cell that is thomson cell the first unique cell was thomson cell written by ken thomson at bell laboratories and it runs throughout the year 1971 to 1975 and then the next cell is called messi cell the pwb cell or messi cell was an upward compatible version of the thomson cell augmented by the john messi and others and distributed with the programmers workbench unix circa 1975 to 1977 and the next cell is called c cell the c cell was modeled on the c programming language introduced many features for interactive work including the history and editing mechanisms aliases directory stacks job control and path hashing okay this is the c cell and most uh, known and popular cell name is bond cell the bond cell was a new unix cell by stephen born at bell laboratory has all the features of previous other cell newly includes command substitution and variable expansion and what is command substitution and variable expansion i will discuss later and nowadays we are using the cell called bond again cell gnu bond again cell is improved version of bond cell the default interactive cell in red hat enterprise linux is gnu bond again cell and uh, some other cells are uh, like cond cell written by david con based on the bond uh, cell sources and another cell is z cell public domain con cell pdk case okay these are the cell history i have discussed about executing commands using base cell now it's high time of practical session let's start the practical and full lab i am opening a cell click on activities 
then click on terminal if you want to know as which user you have to log in the command is who am i so i have logged in as devox user if you want to know the uh, host name the command is host name this is my host name manage host to dot example dot com okay to display the current date and time type date this is my current date and time and uh, if you want to get uh, that time uh, in 24 hours format then command is date plus percentage capital R it will display the time in 24 hours format if you want to get the uh, time in 12 hour format then the command is date plus percentage small r now if you want to get two output in a single line then uh, you have to type two command in a single line and uh, separate the command by semicolon i am showing you like i want to uh, get the output of a date and calendar uh, at the same time date semicolon cal okay cal display the current month calendar this is this is my current date and time and this is the current month calendar okay in this way you can use more than one command in a single line and if you want to uh, see the previous month current month and the next month calendar then command is cal minus three it will display the previous month calendar the current month calendar and the next month calendar and if you want to uh, print a specific year like i want to uh, get the calendar of uh, 2016 then command is cal 2016 see it is showing me the 2016 calendar and uh, if you want to print a particular month of the year the command is uh, cal then the month name then the year name okay uh, like I want to print the output of October uh, 2017 calendar that will be cal October is 10 then 2017 see I got the calendar of the month October 2017 if you want to uh, print uh, number of days in the year like i want to get uh, how much days in 2020 uh, calendar then the command is cal minus small j and the year enter see uh, 2020 has uh, 366 days because uh, this is the leap year so 65 day and add one day total days 366 if you want to uh, print universal date then type date minus small u this will print you the universal utc time keep in mind that linux is very much case sensitive to clear the screen just type clear and you can also use the shortcut key control and l combination now i want to create empty file the command is touch touch will create empty file then the file name like file one okay and uh, the file one is created uh, to my uh, present directory my present directory is pwt present working directory which uh, slash home slash devops and if you want to see the file then just type ls ls is for listing see file one is created now i want to know which type of file format is file one the common is file file will show you the file format file then the file name my file name is file one it will show me empty file because it is empty now i will insert some text 
in my file one the command is echo then whatever you want to uh, insert like i want to insert uh, hello how are you sorry and i am redirecting uh, the file uh, to my existing file file one okay if you type file file one then it will show me the format of the file this is showing me uh, file one is ascii text file format i am clearing the screen now uh, i'll show you uh, the command cat if you want to create a file with some content then you can use cat command and if the uh, file is already exists then uh, it will uh, just show you the content of the file i am showing you i want to create a file file name is file 2 then cat and i want to redirect this file 2 file 2 enter then i am giving some line like um, this is command line interface to save the file just press ctrl d then you type cat file 2 it will show you the content of the file now i want to create empty file called file 3 touch file 3 okay see my file 3 is created now i want to redirect file 1 content and file 2 content to file 3 see how to redirect it cat file 1 file 2 and i want to redirect it by get a done sign file 3 now file 1 and file 2 content is redirected to file 3 file now see the content of file 3 file cat file 3 see this is the uh, content of file 1 and this is the content of file 2 and both are redirected to file 3 I'm clearing the screen now I will show you the command less less basically if file content size uh, larger then it take more room to display cat command show you only few line from the last but less command so full content of the uh, long file by page okay and you can use up arrow key and down arrow key to scroll up and down if you want to display the content of etc passwd then you can use cat etc passwd but it will show you some some content uh, from the last but if you want to see all the content uh, in the uh, page format then you can use less command less uh, etc passwd etc passwd is my target see it will show you page by page just up arrow and down arrow click up arrow down arrow to go up up arrow to go down click down arrow okay if you want to uh, just end the file then press uh, space bar space bar will uh, end the file and if you want to quit from this file then press q button now i will show you the command head head basically display the file content uh, from the beginning and by default it will show you a 10 line of a file if i uh, want to see uh, the file content etc passwd head etc passwd it will show me the first 10 line from the file okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if you want to see particular uh, three three line from the beginning then you can use 
8 space minus n 3 then uh, the file name etc past wd it will show you the particular first three line see first line second line and third line if you want to see uh, from this line to this line or you want to see particular uh, 15 line to uh, last then the command is head minus n then 15 then etc pass wd it will show you uh, the line from 15 to last this is my 15th line and all these are the last line okay then i will show you the tail command tail command basically uh, display the ending tail line by default of a file and uh, you can allow minus n uh, a different number of line to be specified okay like i want to see etc pass wd uh, by default last 10 line then command is tail etc pass wd this is the last 10 line of the file etc pass wd now if you want to see uh, last uh, three line from this file then type tail minus n3 then the file name etc first wd it will show you the last three line okay if you want to uh, uh, get output uh, uh, last 15 line then the command is tail minus n plus 15 then etc first wd it will show you the uh, line 15 to last line now i will show you wc command wc command uh, actually count lines words and characters in a file line uh, in a file then the command is wc minus l then the file name right etc first wd etc first wd has uh, 47 line total 47 line and if you want to see how much character in this file wc minus c then the file name total uh, 200 uh, 2580 characters are there in uh, etc password file if you want to know how much words in the file then command is wc minus w w means what okay then the file name it is c w etc fast wd file has uh, 105 words okay now uh, i will show you uh, uh, the two command in a single line like i want to uh, count word and line wc minus l then uh, etc pass wd then i am separating uh, the command with semicolon then i want to see uh, like uh, what in file etc group there is a file etc group i, I want to count uh, the what uh, of file etc group and i want to uh, count line from the file etc first wd okay enter 47 line present in etc pass wd and 72 word is present in etc group file okay now um i will show you tab completion tab completion what is tab completion 
actually tab completion allows a user to quickly complete commands or file name after they have typed enough at the front to make it unique okay if the characters type are not unique press the tab key twice display all command uh, that begin with the characters already typed i want to display the content of etc passwd okay etc then i am typing p a s then i am pressing uh, tab button once it will complete the sentence if you type enough at the prompt then it will complete the unique sentence i am showing you ls etc and pass wd but i don't know i am pressing uh, double tab it will show you all the target uh, file under etc start with p a p a double s single tab it will list target you can also uh, use uh, tab twice for option uh, section also okay to see the uh, options that can be used to control uh, how uh, commands behaves now i will show you uh, continuing a long command on an, uh, another line if you want to make a, a readability of a co command easier you can break the line by adding a backslash character this is the backslash character okay now i want to show you continuing a long command on another line Head minus in three then usr cr then dict dictionary then words long, long and then space then user usr cr it is actually uh, not the uh, human readable format see it is uh, very tough to read uh, uh, all this uh, uh, argument in same same line and it is uh, not scientific way to manage this uh, command just i am typing and then blah 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 it is actually not human uh, uh, readable format or uh, human readable format but it is not easier to uh, control okay you can easily uh, control it by breaking uh, all these argument by actually giving a backslash character as the last character on the line first i am showing you head minus n then i want to see three then i am giving the backslash the greater than uh, sign is uh, for continuation of the line then i am here typing slash usr slash cr then dictionary then words okay now i am giving backslash again then slash usr slash cr then dictionary then then uh, there I have a file called linux dot uh, words uh, i am pressing uh, double tab already it is taken then enter see the output this is the output of this target and this is the output of this target okay in this way you can break uh, a long line uh, into smaller now i will uh, show you the history command history command basically displays a uh, a uh, list of previous executed command prefixed with a command number like history it will show me the previous command that i have already typed okay and uh, if you want to repeat some command from this line then you have to first enter exclamation symbol is a meta character that is used to expand previous commands without having to retype them just i am uh, typing ls then i repeat the line that i have previously typed and uh, given me the output like i want to uh, repeat the line uh, 177 i have to type first uh, exclamation then 177 see it has been repeated the command and given me the output of the command this is the facility of history and here you can all use uh, up arrow uh, to repeat the last line and 
down arrow to repeat the next line like up arrow down arrow up arrow down arrow head minus game etc pass wd okay I uh, want to jump to the beginning of the command line then I have to press control a my cursor is uh, jumped to beginning uh, of the line and if you want to jump uh, to the end of the command line then control e is is the shortcut key and if you want to clear uh, from the cursor to the beginning of the command line uh, my cursor is uh, here beginning of slash etc okay and i want to clear all this stuff from my cursor position then i have to click control u shortcut it will clear first position from the cursor and if you want to clear last line uh, from the cursor then uh, use control k and if you want to uh, jump to uh, beginning of the previous word on the command line then use control left arrow if you were jump uh, to uh, the end of the next word of the command line then control right arrow these are all uh, shortcut key i have discussed because uh, it will help you sometime to work quickly okay now i will show you df command df command you, uh, basically uh, if you want to see current amount of free space of your uh, hard disk drive then you can use df and it will show you uh, the size in uh, byte format and if you want to see this in uh, uh, gigabyte or um, megabyte format then use df minus h h means human readable format and my uh, dev sdo one disk size is uh, 1014 mb and uh, this is the used space and this is the uh, free space okay and this is the mount point now if you want to see your ram space and uh, swap memory then use free free uh, mem means memory ram this is my total ram size and this is the used ram size and this is the free space uh, and this is the uh, swap memory file uh, size okay i will discuss about other commands like ls and all options of ls cd and its usage all this stuff I hope you enjoyed this video. So what are you thinking? Just do subscribe and press the bell icon to get regular update. While I uploading next video, it will notify you first. And don't forget to share your knowledge, whatever you learned here in this course. Thank you.